Expo Com Master Unit, test 3 parts that is Expo Com Top Board, DTFFG 3 card and NGLPF card. Now this DTFFG card, this is a frequency generator card. It has two frequency generators. This is our audio frequency generator having frequency range of 250 hertz to 5k. This is our amplitude control port and frequency control port. This is our different frequency selector switch which is having uh, ranges of 10 hertz, 100 hertz, 1k, 10k, 100k and 1 mega. This is our amplitude control port and frequency control port. For 
Observe the detail output at this signal. For that, we have to put this switch down. Now, this is our M AM carrier control port. This is normal FG, standard AM, and balance AM. For normal frequency range, we have to put this switch to normal FG. standard AM, we will select this audio signal, give this audio signal this FJ output, FM output and observe the FJ output over here. FM output. We have to give this audio signal to the FM output, FM input signal and observe the waveform at FM output. Now for this AM input, we have to connect this audio signal to the AM input. And move this AM carrier control port to the standard AM. So this is our standard AM signal. The ring wasn't me, it's a punchy. For balance AM, we have to move this AM carrier control port to the balanced AM. This is our top board. It's having different power supply. This is fixed 12 volt, fixed minus 12 volt, fixed 5 volt, and ground. This is our variable 0 to positive 15 variable supply. This is 0 to minus 15 variable supply. It is 0 to 15 and 0 to minus 15. It has different different blocks that is FM transmitter, AM transmitter, FM detector, AM detector, AM FM receiver, mic amplifier, fiber optic transmission and receiver and audio amplifier. We can see the mic amplifier. This is our dynamic mic. We have to insert this cable and connect this mic to the mic input. Using this patch port, we have to connect the mic output to the volume control input and short this speaker. the mic Hello, hello, hello. We 
here the switch is provided for the high gain and low gain if you put the switch at high gain you will can control the volume control using this cord and if you keep this switch on the low position the volume will be decreased so this is our mic amplifier here the headphone is also provided second end of that fiber optic cable to this socket so we can transmit any signal through this fiber optic cable suppose we had send this sine waveform we have to connect this sine waveform to the ac input written on this top board Observe the transmission of sign signal on the AC coupled output written on this top board. The same way we can transmit the TTL signal and observe the output on the TTL. So, with this fiber optic cable, we can transmit the sign signal, triangle signal, uh, TTL signal, and also the voice transmission is also. Voice transmission also can be held using this fiber optic cable. Now this is FM transmitting section. That is, we will transmit the FM signal and one uh, audio signal using this FM transmitter. Position. 
whatever the audio signal we will transmit the audio signal and this fm signal this audio and fm signal both can be heard using this fm transmission <laughs> Our NGLPF card that is noise generation low pass filter. It has this PRBS clock that is pseudo random binary sequence and the PRBS data. If we give this any TTL output to this PRBS clock, any TTL clock we can observe this PRBS binary sequence over here that is the PRBS output. This switch is provided for making off and on. this pink noise generator is given. Different types of noises are there. This pink noise generator is this BC547 and LM358 IC generated this pink noise generator. These are the low pass filter, second order and fourth order low pass filter. These are required for removing the high frequencies present at the input flow, at the output signals. These are the summer come amplifier. These are, there are two HPF that is the AC amplifier and the summer clock amplifier and the inverting amplifier which will invert the input signal.